So hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn with Gigs. Today I will be focusing on the questions that are being asked from the report view section in Power BI. But before that I would also recommend you to see all the parts that I have already uploaded in this video series. I will be also providing the video links for those videos in the description box. So go check out the video first and then come to this video. So let's start the video without wasting any time. This is the first question in the report view part. What is the difference between import and direct query connection mode? Import mode. The extraction of data from the database and storing it locally in our machine is import mode connection. There is a 1 GB limit for the data we want to publish to Power BI service. So we have to be extra careful when we are storing it locally in our machine. Also if I talk about the performance, it is fast and it is better as compared to the other connection modes like direct query or live query connection mode. Now comes the direct query mode. So in this section, it leaves the data in the database and sends the queries to pull the information needed directly. So it, it doesn't store the data locally in our machine. On every user interaction, it will send the query and get the required information. The data view section is removed from the report. There is no limit on the data as you have live data. And if you talk about the performance, yes, we have performance issues in direct query connection mode. Also, we have limited DAX functions to work upon. So in this way, you can answer this question the difference between import and direct query modes. So let's move to the next question. So explain the difference between bookmarks and drill through filters. So bookmarks capture the currently configured view of a report page, including the filters, slicers and the state of visuals. So in whatever state we want, we can capture it and use it in our report as per the requirement. And if you talk about the drill through filters, so drill through filters allow users to jump to different report pages just like bookmarks and also simultaneously filtering based on the specific items selected. So in this way you can tell the difference between these two bookmarks and drill through filters. Let's move to the next question. What are what if parameters and in which scenario is it useful? So to answer this you can say that these are essentially the preset measures that produce values within a given range based on our input and we can configure these settings like data type, the minimum maximum value, the increment and the default value. In this way we can configure what if parameters and if I talk about usefulness, so these, are, these can be great tools for forecasting or scenario testing. So suppose if you are in a company and if you want to forecast what will be your total revenue if you give some kind of profit, then you can use this what if parameters to analyze your requirement. So let's move to the next question. Tell me few scenarios where waterfall chart is useful. So this is a very common question that has been asked in many interviews. So to answer this, you can just tell two or three scenarios where this waterfall chart can be useful. So you can mention to plot your company's annual profit by showing various sources of revenue and arrive at the total profit or loss. And the second one is the to illustrate the beginning and the ending count, head count for your company in a year. So suppose if you want to indicate the total head count in a year has increased or decreased so you can make use of waterfall chart and the last one is to visualize how much money you make and spend each month and the running balance for your account so this in this way you can answer this question telling the scenarios for the waterfall chart so let's move to the next question what are tool tips and explain it types this is a very good question and you should prepare it so tooltips are the easy and the elegant way of demonstrating more contextual data and information on a visual. So in this way you can answer what are tooltips. And if you talk about the types, so the first one is the standard tooltip. So this is the default tooltip which we can see on hovering over any visual. So whatever information we see normally on hovering on any visual that is standard tooltip. If you talk about report tooltip, so for this we have to create a separate report page as a tooltip which can have visuals, images and any other collection of atoms we create in the report page. And the last one is visual level tooltip. So this is specific to a visual. So if you want to highlight some visual level information through this type, so we can configure it from the format section. So we have three types of tooltips, standard, report and visual level tooltips. Let's move to the next question. So this is the last question on this topic. Can you explain decomposition tree AI visual? So as we know, we have two or three AI based visuals in our Power BI desktop. So decomposition tree is one of them. So to answer this, we can say that decomposition tree lets us visualize data across different dimensions. 
it automatically aggregates the data and enable drilling down into our dimensions in any order okay so you you can mention these two points and also you can mention that it's a great way to understand how our data is distributed and it's an excellent tool for root cause analysis so in this way you can answer this question so thank you for watching the complete video i hope you are learning through this video series please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you